Innovation abounds at Idaho Power. As we work to modernize the electrical grid, our engineers have found a unique way to partner with the sun and improve voltage on a remote power line. One year ago, the company launched a new pilot solution using solar panels to boost voltage at the end of a distribution line near Shoshone, Idaho. And this is a unique uh, individual situation in which photovoltaics actually solve the low voltage issues out here and get the voltage within standards so we can maintain power quality out here and it does it in a cost effective way. The 18 kilowatt system is located 26 line miles from the nearest substation. Its 72 solar panels ensure customers in the region have quality, reliable power. This unique solution is the only one of its kind in Idaho, and quite possibly one of the first installed anywhere in the country. Um, we're, we're watching the price of photovoltaics and the price of batteries, the things like that just, just coming down, down, down. And we're thinking that at some point it was going to be cost effective to, to use a non-wires type of solution to help out with voltage at the end of long feeders. The Shoshone project affects only 13 service points, but every customer matters. Thanks to smart engineering and plentiful desert sunshine, the photovoltaic system has been an effective substitute for replacing the line or installing voltage regulating devices. This was what the total cost for, the, for this project was about half uh, what it would have cost to, to, yeah, to do the reconductoring. You know, it has to be cost effective, and, and, and this is. With a successful project under their belts, Idaho Power engineers are on the lookout for additional opportunities to implement new technologies and ensure reliable, sustainable energy both today and tomorrow. Absolutely, it's very innovative, uh, somewhat revolutionary, and it's something that we are looking to do more of in the future, whether it be with uh, photovoltaic and we're even looking at battery solutions now as well as the price in both technologies start to decline. With photographer Lon Van Wyk, this is Jordan Rodriguez reporting for E! News.